All right, an airplane flying into a headwind travels this 1,650 mile flying distance between two cities in three hours and in 18 minutes. On the return flight, the distance is traveled in three hours. Find the airspeed of the plane and the speed of the wind, assuming that both remain constant. Okay. So, basically, what you have is the plane flies 1,650 miles both times, but in one time, but, but the amount of time it takes is different each time. So, I try to hint to some of you guys that the main equation we want to use is distance times, distance equals rate times time. That's how I learned it when I was, I think, pretty young. So, distance equals Time, rate, speed, velocity, whatever. I'm not making uh, physics right. So 1650 equals, you know, I'll call it V times time. Well, in one case, the time is three and three and eighteen sixtieth is what I'm going to put for now. And it was eighteen minutes, eighteen and a half minutes out of sixty possible minutes, and uh, on the way back, it's v three or three v. But this is wrong. this doesn't account for everything because it's telling us there's two variables. So instead of using v, I'll say let uh, s equal uh, speed of plane if unaffected by wind. So they're telling tell us that one of the reasons for the change in time is the wind. So the speed, so let's just imagine like the, it's like a theoretical speed of, of the plane. Um, theoretical speed. And it's like, if, you know, just how fast it would go without wind. And then let W equal the speed of wind. All right, so then we'll get rid of the Vs and we'll change it to, um, I'm going to move it over here. Okay. So I'll change this to make it a little easier for you guys to comprehend what I'm doing. This is the time they take. The rate, now, if it takes longer here and shorter here, then when is the wind on your side? It's on your side and you can go faster. So the wind's on your side, your speed is increased by the wind. And when the when you're going slower, the speed is minus the wind. Now um, that allows me to then um, do as follows. Uh, I'll, and I've got a system of equations. Um, I'm going to simplify that fraction into three tenths. So 3.3 3 S minus W equals 1650, and 3 S plus W equals 1650. I'm going to use elimination to solve, and uh, first I'm going to distribute 3.3 3 S minus 3.3 3 W equals 1650. And this one's uh, 3 S plus 3 W, I'm going to do an intermediate step over here. To make them match up, I'm going to multiply this one by 1.1. So then I'll have 3.3, so I'm multiplying this by 1.1. So I have 3.3s plus 3.3w equals, this times 1.1, I have to add one, so it's going to be 1850. And then if I add straight down, I get 6.6s equals 3465. I'm going to pause. And now I have a calculator. And I can do the division, and I get. S equals 5.5. And then I plug that in to one of these equations, uh, perhaps this one. I'll get 
three times 525 plus W equals 1650. This turns out to be 1575 plus 3W equals 1650. So W, 3W equals 75, subtracting from both sides, and W equals 25. So that is how that works. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, what face did I just make?